Jak możemy rozwiać wątpliwości polskiej społeczności związane z bezpieczeństwem szczepionki na COVID-19? It's very reasonable to have questions about any new medication or vaccine. Uh, you can be assured, however, that the COVID vaccine has gone through very rigorous safety checks. There have been no shortcuts taken and that it is a safe vaccine. Wielu ludzi czyta o skutkach ubocznych szczepionki na COVID-19 w mediach społecznościowych. Co możemy im poradzić? I'd urge you not to believe everything that you read on social media. Uh, some of the information there may be inaccurate or untrue. And if you have questions about COVID-related side effects from the vaccine, then please go to hse.ie for reliable information based on the science. We know that some people will experience mild side effects after the vaccine. Those tend to be short-lived, lasting a day or two, uh, and self-resolve. More serious side effects are exceedingly rare. At the same time, if you get COVID infection and you have no vaccine protection, your risk of severe illness or needing hospital treatment is greatly increased. E, słyszymy, że zakażenie Omikron jest mniej szkodliwe. Czy powinniśmy się szczepić mimo wszystko? It's true that most people who get the COVID-19 infection with the Omicron variant will have milder illness and that's a really welcome development. However, some people are still getting severe illness and ending up in hospital with Omicron, including people who are young and healthy. If you're unvaccinated, your risk of getting COVID-19 has never been higher because Omicron is a more infectious variant. Jakie są korzyści szczepienia przeciwko COVID-19, skoro wielu szczepionych ludzi jest hospitalizowanych mimo wszystko? We know that in Ireland more than 90% of adults are vaccinated against COVID-19. That means that less than 10% are not. And yet, in recent months, about 50% of people who ended up in hospital with COVID were unvaccinated. That's telling us that there's a disproportionate burden of severe illness in people who are unvaccinated. It's also telling us that the best way to reduce your own risk of ending up in hospital with COVID-19 is by getting vaccinated.